Welcome to the Deep in the Woods podcast, episode 28. Um, we're already 20, 28 episodes in. Um, I'm your host, Nate, here with Ox. Just two of us today. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you're okay with just two of us today. So, like it. Like it. Love it. Um, first of all, announcements. Um, big announcement coming up. You'll see it Friday, so when this comes out, it'll be tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, the big PFO, the big provision financial will be. If you're not signed up for it now, uh, you got about a few hours, maybe, right? And so sign up real quick, right? Yeah. And so um, we'll drop the link below in the description um, so you see that. I don't know if you guys saw it, but at league today, we were delivered the mitten bags oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for the players' packs. Awesome. Yeah, they look like they could dry out some hands. <sighs> you know? So, so awesome. I'm hoping all of you don't sign up so I can take some home with me. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can still sign up. Right? <laughs> uh, so, we hope you sign up. And then uh, we have some fun, exciting happening. It's kind of been shadowed, you know, overshadowed by PFO, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Sanction Leagues, mm-hmm. which is, starts up Friday. So, the fi- Friday after. Uh, so, next Friday, when this comes out, it's going to be next Friday. So, um, next Friday. Um, we already talked about it quite a bit. Do we have anything else to cover on it? I think we have beat that dead horse, but there's still only three of us. One of the donut checks, I don't know which. Yeah, one of them signed up with the two of us. So we'll be playing three man sanctioned leagues yeah. for. In the disc golf scene uh, page Correct. comments. Correct. Yes, uh, that, was, that was clarified last week. Aaron helped us out. Not the YouTube, the disc golf scene. We put the link down below. Uh, next up, I think that's all the announcements we got. Yeah. That's what we got going on. Feels right. Feels um, right. We're going to hop back into the recap. Hop back into a recap for a week. Was it nine? Week nine? Week nine. At Stony Blues. Um, we had how many? Do you know how many guys we had? I am trying to pull up the so leader. 20 teams speak. with 40 guys. And oh, guys under the threat of major thunderstorms, like cancel league thunderstorms. But the fellas hustled. You guys hustled. Well done. It, it it did feel like people had a little bit of pep in their yeah. step there a little bit because I felt like the, you know lightning was in the distance and uh, there was some good energy going on. Right? I had to move. I had, had to move. Had to move. Had to move. Um, sure. Real quick. Yeah. Why don't we shout out the winners? Winners. Go for it. You want me to do it? Yeah. I don't want to do it. Right? All right. <laughs> All right. So we had this week was marred with controversy. Just oh, everywhere. Oh, just terrible because. Nate got to play a B. Yeah, and I was really fortunate. Um, I, I managed to grab uh, one of the better putters in our entire league, mm-hmm. um, Garrett Landry. Mm-hmm. And so uh, they I'm, shot 15 down. 15 down with some exaggerated pars, but nonetheless, we got two strokes over the next guy. Yeah, that's the big deal. It was a resounding win. That's the big deal. That's so. it's tough to win, much less win by multiple strokes. Yeah. So. Congrats. Good on them, right? Good Congrats. On them. Way to go. Uh. And it, uh, it would be weird if I won every week, but this is the first time I've won in a long time since last summer. So we'll let it slide. And I've just been getting beat down this entire season. I was telling, I was in the chat today, I was, before tonight, Sure. I was in 42nd place. Wow. And for someone who was the champ last season, <laughs> that has to be the greatest collapse. Oh, it's worse than the donut chip collapse of not this season. season. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of this season. That's yeah. a big collapse, too. <laughs> but I was just going from a champ to 42nd. Just, it didn't sit right. It hurts. So, it hurts right. a little bit. I mean, I don't know because I'm not a champ. You won't, yeah, it's okay. Only, yeah. There's only a few of us. There's only a few. Only a few. I feel like we're going to have a new one this season, though. I mean... We'll get into that later. Okay. All right. But uh, sure. who, who got longest... Well, let's go over some leaderboard real quick. Yeah. i got to pull up the old Discord to full, find that information out. So, so, yeah. Tied for second, we have Aaron and Josh. Mm-hmm. Uh, with, and then also tied for second, Stephen Demick and Drew Pensko, which will highlight what ha- how important that was for Drew. Remember that name. Remember him. Remember that name. That was a massive performance. 
Uh, Brandon Maxson and uh, Jason Klein were mm -hmm. paired up. Tyra Flora, Dylan Diaski, Andrew Ross, solid pairing. Bunch of 11 unders. Yeah. They're tied for sixth place. Notable. Notable tied for sixth. Both trenders. Not on the same team. Yeah. Um, but both trenders. Dropping a couple of points to Mr. Buff Nate. You gotta believe there's some gamesmanship there. You gotta believe there's some tension. And Buff Nate said, You counted me out? Because we were kind of counting them out last time. Yes, we were. And he said, Enough is enough. And especially with Brendan not being here. That's a big deal. That's a massive deal. We got. I, I'm, I'm, all I'm going to say is I'm really excited for next week. Right? I, 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 I yeah. was going to shake down. So it's interesting. I don't know what Brandon Brandon's got going on tonight. Brandon, mm -hmm. yeah, Brandon. I don't. I have no idea. Do we think it's as important as we? I mean, when you're in the race of your life, <laughs> you know, this is destiny, right? This is your legacy. I hope nothing bad happened, but no, no, no. Yeah. We should probably check on it. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have checked on him. Yeah, dang it. Um, yeah, the, lot, lots of guys have shot well. And, you know, yeah. the, the bars were a little exaggerated, so yeah. make, you know, it makes you feel a little nice and fuzzy inside. But um, overall, well, how, how about we go this way? How, who did you play for? Who did yeah, you play with? I, I ended up playing with Mr. Uh, Mr. Hefe Zelenko. Oh, yeah. We were eight under. We, and he'll tell you, I think we missed three inside circle putts for birdie. And we're both looking like, I, I should hit those. We're 20 footers. I hit those in my basement all day. Not outside, because too much dog poop, as we found out last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but just, what the heck? No Ooh. wind. Still, just clank. Oh, beautiful. Clank out, clank. I just, what? And Jeff, we were just off. We were on, but just not on. Yeah, right? And that's three right there. Not that we would have gotten a 15 under, um, but... Eight to three. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. so. We didn't play bad. We didn't play great. Uh, we played with uh, uh, Nicholas and my son Sky. Nicholas Dolchek and Sky. They shot eleven under. Um, Sky's playing well as a deep yeah. player. Hey, this guy's progressing in an alarm. Very, 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 very quickly. So he's still a weirdo who throws a forehand right-handed <laughs> and a left-handed backhand. Yeah. We're giving him some grace period, but we're eventually we're going to address it, right? Yes. Eventually we're going to, you know, tackle Who, who does it? <laughs> who does that? So... But how do you make the decision? Right. You know, hey, you're 14. Don't do that. Well, how do you make the decision between the two, you know? Uh, yeah, that's true. Like, you're trying to accomplish the same thing. Yeah, you know? it's exactly the same thing. <laughs> and someone will tell you, yeah, but you can forehand, you can backhand flex when Andy... No, do, do it. Do it. Zach, you know? So, anyway. So, yeah, we had a good time. Um, like I said, missed some things. They missed a couple things, but it, 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 it was good. Yeah. So, you? Yeah, I played with Gary, like I mentioned earlier. Okay. Um, and then I played with the other twin, Christian. Mm. Um, and then I played with uh, Ken. Ken was oh. his and so Ken Pit, P Petro. 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 They they had a less than desirable round. No. It felt like Christian was turfing everything. Oh, turfing everything into the ground. We started to figure out towards the end, but that was his big trip tonight. The gravity was just on for him. It was just a little too heavy. He just kept on pushing his disc into Einstein the ground. Einstein was onto something. Yeah. And so uh, me and Gary were clicking, and they managed to take the box the last hole. Oh. And so we just it felt like a good morale was good. Yeah. Good, good for them. Yeah, good for them. And so it was. It was kind of one of those tales where like your your car makes you feel bad. You're firing all cylinders. You're killing it, and you gotta like man, manage. Like, hey, sorry guys. Yeah. I mean, so, manage your excitement. Manage your excitement. Um, okay. Yeah, fun time. Um, I think we covered. Oh yeah. Yo, I'm looking. At we the, did meet in the parking lot, which I felt like uh, there was some. Uh, Tension about which I like the parking lot because yeah. I can see everyone who comes in. Yeah, people just don't dis disperse when they. Yeah, you know, I can't. I'm able to check everyone in. Yeah, um, which I kind of like because everyone just kind of hangs out in the parking lot, talks. Yeah, good community. It's better that way. That's the per. That's the point. That's the purpose. Yeah, hanging out. Um, CTP. Yeah, I do those. You stole my CTP. I did. It was on one of the last tells. It, it was about a disc length. Ah, oh, I feel like you put it close too. I, I, it was hole seventeen on the blues. Guess what I threw? Guess what I threw? A wave? No, a green thrasher. I was hoping to guess that. It's okay. It's the same. 
Yeah. <laughs> same thing with that same. Yeah, it's slightly different, but the same. So yeah, I threw an FD on the right side with some angle and I got it skipped. I was about 10 feet past. Yeah, maybe a little further, maybe 12 feet, yeah. 13 feet. I was a, a dis 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 in front. <laughs> dis in front of you. We're um, really? Yeah, yeah. Dang. I, literally, literally, I, needed I was just past the basket. I was literally next to your back. Next to your uh, Man. Thing, so. It's crazy how you know, life works that way. Fair enough. I was excited to cross off your name. I tell you what. Yeah, I bet. I no doubt. So who else? Who else? Uh, so Noah. And that was the that was A B C T P. A B C T P. The C D was Noah Umtheim, who also got uh, C T P for ice cream. Yeah. Noah. Noah made out today. He made so, out. Funny story. That was our. We started on sixteen. So. That was whole 13. So we're almost done. Yeah. So Sky steps up on 13 CTP. We look at it and it's just a small 198. Yeah. And he pulls out his thrasher. Mind you, Sky will throw it 300 feet if yeah, he gets yeah. a hold of one. I'm like, dude, put that away. <laughs> Why? Because you've thrown your truth about 210 every single time on this angle, on a forehand. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. And sure. he's a lefty forehand, let's just clarify that. No, he's right hand forehand, left hand back hand. Okay, yeah. Okay. My so bad. Bad. but it's still the same throw. So he steps up, fine. And he throws a perfect dime. After his teammate, Christian, sorry, Nicholas. Nicholas. Okay. So I, I was Yeah. When he would screw up, I'd say, Hey, good throw good throw, Christian. Mm -hmm. And now I keep calling him Christian. <laughs> so Nicholas. Yeah. Nicholas hit first available. Just a little bit up. It was terrible. It was an awful throw. Mm. Awful throw. And this guy, sure enough, dimes it and is probably less than, you know, three, three, four inches outside of CTP. And he misses his putt because, yeah. Yeah. But he almost had two CTPs because he was overtaken by Noah Ungethein on the CD mm. CTP on hole 18. He's probably 15, 20 feet. And mm -hmm. Noah got closer. But Noah, good on you. Good on him. Um, and lastly, uh, longest putt was uh, Jeff Zelenko. And I, I pulled off. Did you read the longest putt or did Jeff say it? I did. You did? Yeah. Well, you guys got discs? We got discs. Got Sky another disc? I got Sky another disc. I, well, I grabbed a putter. And, I, and from last week, I had also hit the CTP or longest putt with Mike on hole one when we're all gathering around mm -hmm. there. So I grabbed the second one. That seems to be your thing. I mean, nowadays, because I can't do anything else, right? Because I can't actually put it unless it's outside the circle. Yeah. So, it's killing me. It's killing me. And there's a heads up. Check for ticks. Check for ticks. So, Brandon yeah. just said that. Oh, uh, Brandon did? You well, know? Brandon Maxson. Brandon Maxson. Yep. Yeah. So. Cool. Uh, good jobs. Um, yeah. But it was good. We, we kind of alluded to it. We alluded to it earlier. What's that? We had a lot of points. That, threw, that went down. So when you're looking at 40 guys showing up, it's a big week. You, you it's a big week. Got to perform. And, and there was a few guys that needed to perform and they did. And there was a few guys who needed to perform and they did. And so we're just going to highlight those guys, right? Wow. I don't have, we don't have, I haven't done the numbers. But Buff Nate's in the hunt. He, he made a massive splash today. Brennan's in the hunt. Trenda's in the hunt. Donut checks, they are with a poor performance like today's, they're not going to cut it, but they can still go off. Like they, 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 can, last year. they can podium if they want, they could possibly. And it's interesting because Aaron Nitz is going to jump up as well, yeah, because he got one seconds. thing to watch though. And I, you know, theoretically, a pipe would, would never happen for us. But What's in that? the event it did, mm -hmm. it'd just be electric. What? Is if someone won with that less than. Went less than five weeks. No chance. Which is probably no improbable. Chance. improbable. No chance. But Maybe. you gotta watch Garrett. Garrett has won back to back weeks. Last week he won. This week he won. So that's four free bonus points. And right there. Right there. And twenty points for winning. Well, I guess nineteen because he beat nineteen teams. Yeah. Twenty one points, and I think the winner and winners last week were twenty two. If he points. does it again next week. Could, could he? That's 66 points in three weeks. Three weeks. That's now, unprecedented. 
The winner's at 80? 80 some, yeah, 80 some. I'm just saying, That's in, unheard of. in a scenario where that happened, you, you would have to give the dude the trophy. His, you would have to, because he managed to beat you with only four weeks. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. You know, 100%. 100%. He had the disadvantage, and he still beat you. Well, it's just something to watch. I hear you. Go. Slow down the disadvantage, because if you are so weak minded that you can't show up when the weather's cold, I said, he was at school. <laughs> school, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was at school. Right. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I would love to see it. Love to see it, Garrett. I think it'd be a lesser. The pressure's on. Him. I think it'd be a massive wake up call. Right. I, I think I think he's one to watch for spring, for summer. If he can keep up the form, he's just a he, he's a he's a C that can putt. Like if you're a C that can putt, that's a big limitless. That's a big deal. You know that's huge. Okay. Unless he gets cold or wet, then he's in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Well, summer hopefully that doesn't happen as much, right? Historically. Historically. Okay. Um, so, okay. one big storyline tonight, everyone's asking about it, where's Brendan? Mm-hmm. Where's Brendan Crocker? Dude. Because he, he has the title in his hands. He you might be trouble. fumbling it. He yeah. might be fumbling it. I, yeah. Yeah. And so... Well, I mean, the power, the, the algorithm knew. But, you know, Rick did the capitalize. And so there's also an element of he may have just been given a gift by Rick. And so there's a lot of storylines going into this final week. Unless we see Buff Nate step up. I'm curious. We got, I, I mean. I'm excited to see how this, these points going in. I might go home right away. tonight at like midnight and plug in points. At I least Buff Nate, just to see where it shakes out. Because you know Rick's points are dropped. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Rick is going to score this week. Yeah. I don't think he's going to get anything. Because he didn't get any points, bonus points. And yeah, I think his mid. Worst score is like 10 or 11. So I'm excited to hop to top 30, maybe. Yeah, after I, this performance. I think, I think, you know, it's very possible. Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah, no, that's, that's a good call. But, okay. Yeah, All so right. points, anything else to cover on points? Uh, it is coming down officially to the final week. Yeah. And I personally would love. For somebody to step up and make it so obvious that they're going to crush everybody next week that they must show up on the podcast. Yeah. We would like to get you on the podcast. As an interview. But, e, but we, we won't know. I think if it's, somebody doesn't step up yeah. and say, excuse me, guys. You know, have, we had some, have we had this close of a finish? No. no. It's always been someone who just runs away. It's right. always like, oh, he's, he's gone. He's gone. But, he's gone. Who's playing for second place? Who's playing for, yeah. This is this is this is gonna go down in the history books as one of the most electric finishes. Yeah, it's all. It might just come down to a putt. Can you imagine one putt? Remember that putt on five. I kind of just want to walk. I want to put them all in one card and just walk with them. You yeah. know, I want to gather. I think you have to put. Yeah, well, the, the trenders will play together because they get paired up together, and it'll make sure that. Can you imagine if we paired up Brendan and? No. Yeah, it's too I would love to for a playoff to happen. If we could figure out, you know, an exact tie, exact tie. then we're going to the, the final, final week. Oh, my God. In the skills challenge? Oh, yeah. It would be an ultimate skill and challenge. Whoever individually gets the most points as a, in the skill challenge wins it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's written in stone. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. <laughs> we can, we can, we can <laughs> fudge some points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, well, no, no. Let's keep the integrity up. So are we good? Uh, point out a couple things. There was a real bummer. If you guys play hole 12, 11, Jeff lost a disc in hole 11. I feel like we should have an ending of each episode describing which discs Jeff so, lost. <laughs> but then <laughs> he misplaced a meteor somewhere else. Uh, we don't know where. Yeah. So when you guys are playing at PFO, PFO they'll come and, up. and you wander whole it's whole thirteen. No, whole thirteen is twelve, whole eleven. It's the long downhill guy or the little hook if you're throwing from the shorts, he threw it straight. Yeah. Or he tried to put some angle on it and just petered out and went deep in the woods. So look for from I'll a man. Yeah. 
Um, he needs another disc. Needs Although we got one today. Yeah, yeah. So, so, but Jeff, Jeff seems to always lose the He seems to always find it. You know? So, Come on, Jeff. You'd have a huge bag. His bag would be full. I mean, we were, and the reason why we didn't look as long as we normally would have. Storm's coming. Second group's behind us. We're four holes away. So we're like, ah, we kind of, ah. Uh, <laughs> so we kind of felt bad. Yeah. We needed to move because no one wanted to get stormed on. Yeah. So again, as a reminder, hole eleven for the longs, straight, straight in those woods. Yeah. Just for look for a pink disc. Cool. Road runner. No. All right. Side runner. Yeah. Well, I think we're good. Wrap it up. That's all we got. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, you can make fun of us down there if you like, which you will. Um, and then next up, we are going to go to Hoxie's Top 20 Power Rankings. Yeah, baby! Woo! My friends, it's time. The final power ranking of the spring season 2024. Here we go. It's exciting times for some, not so much for others. Um, we have a battle for the top in both power rankings as well as season points. It, we, this is unprecedented. So good on you guys. So, let's get started. Firstly with, my columns are a little squished. So I've got 19 to 20 over here. Hmm. Number 20, down one from last week to his final spot, Mr. Watkins. Mr. David Watkins. Sometimes he plays good, sometimes he plays bad, but he's officially on the top 20 backs. Applause. Number 19. Yours truly, Mr. Adam. Also down one. From last week to his final place of number 19. Uh, I feel like I deserve much, much, much higher, like top 10, but I cannot argue with the idea. It is what it is. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> number 18. Up to, from zero to hero, as the kids like to say, two wins in a row netted him two spots because he only showed up three weeks the entire season, but won two of them. Mr. Garrett Landry. Garrett Landry. Up two. So, well done. We expect you to show up a bunch in the summer slash fall season. Mr. Garrett. Way to go. All right. Number 17. Staying the same, staying consistent. Mr. Andrew Rumps. He had a good streak there in the middle middle weeks. Um, took a week off, kind of set him back, and just has not recovered the form to increase. He's here, which is good. It's not this good. Next season, my friend, next season. All right. Number 16, dropping the biggest drop as I studied this. The biggest drop. Greater than the Donacek drop. Little foreshadowing. Mr. Lewis. Mr. Tony Lewis is dropping four down to 16. He just. I mean, he's top top 16. Way to go, Tony. We'll leave it at that. Way to be. Yeah. Alright. Number 15. Up one. Mr. Blackies himself. Derek Ansel. Way to go. 15. Yeah. I think that's a good spot. Me personally. I, I'm not the power rankings, but I personally think that's a good spot. Good on you, Derek. 
14. Here we go. Down one. Mr. Nolan Caferl. K-A-F-E-R. Caferly. Down one. Uh, down 14. Played pretty well. Had some ups and downs. Uh, I think that's pretty consistent, the ups and downs for a lot of these guys in the uh, uh, 10 through 20 range. Good weeks, bad weeks. That's you got to have a consistent number of good weeks, it appears, to find yourself in the left column, which is the Mo Beta column. All right, number 13. Here we go up to Mr. Zach. I put Z-A-K instead of Z-A-C-H or Z-A-C-K. I'm, 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 I'm wild. Mr. Zach Pesta up to... Number 13, he's, put, he's been doing some work. Been doing some work. So good on you, Mr. Zach. Uh, number 12, down one, Andrew Roz. He has been living in the world of 8 to 12 all season. Don't know what it is. He doesn't drop way down here, but he doesn't go way up here. But he lives in this world. Probably a good partner to have. Good on you there, Mr. Roslino. And to round out the bottom 10, as it were, bumping up three, Mr. A.A. Ron Nitz, number 11. Now, if this season were 12 weeks long as opposed to just 10, I bet that guy would be up in the top five. His last three, four, five weeks, I've been killing. His first few weeks were just hot garbage, as, as, the, as you know, I've heard that saying before. But he's moving up based on the. But again, just ran out of time. He'll tell you, just ran out of time. He didn't lose. He just ran out of time. I, I don't agree with that, but that's what he says. So I hear him say it all the time. All the time. I ask him about it. He'll deny it, but I hear it all the time. All right to the top 10. Here we go. Staying the same. Consistency is king. Mr. John Vesto. There you go, John. Way to go. That's how you spell his name, by the way. Okay. Number nine, just having a wreck of an end of a season. Mr. Christian Dolacher. Down three. My man has slid and slid and slid. He's good enough to be in the top ten, but he's had a bear of the last couple weeks. So down to number nine, Mr. Christian. I mean, he's still top ten. My boy over here, 2019. He's top ten. Way to go. It's quality. Number eight. We are looking at Mr. Jacob F. Up one from nine to eight. Way to go. You are in, Mr. Jacob. Nice job. Number seven. Up one. Redemptioned, if it was such a word, himself for the last few weeks. Nicho Lass D. Also up one to spot number seven. Had to, he also had to stop the skid. Christian just needed one more week. Nicholas was able to whoop, slow down one time. So, good stuff. Down to out of the top five. All it took was a good performance, but this week he could not deliver. Mr. Thomas. Oh, you had it in your hands. Four to six. Mm. But, good performance this season, Mr. Mike. And to our top five, I feel like there's, I feel like this is right. Some may say there's, this is marred in controversy and they would be wrong. But let's take a look. Number five, Mr. Steven Demick. Basically, he swapped places with Mr. Michael Thomas. Well, that's not true. That's just, you know what, just 
I don't know why I said that. That's, that's completely wrong. But he jumped two. Michael dropped two. But Steven, he was he was in the top five to start the season. He's in the top five to end the season. Yeah. I think, I think that is fair. Me personally, I think that is fair. So way to go, Steve. Way to go. Number four. Mr. Buffmate. Mr. Drew Pensko. Now, if there were any controversy, one could say he deserves to be higher up because the guy in third didn't show up. And the guy in third only dropped one. And that is Mr. Brendan. Mr. Brendan Crocker. So, Buff Nate only moves up one, showed up, played well. Brennan Crocker doesn't show up, only drops one. Should he have dropped two? Does anything that he did all season long hold him to the top third? I believe it does, and that's why the algorithm is what it is. Um, Or, I'm assuming. It's not why it is, it is, I'm guessing. Um, But, interchangeable, in my opinion. Interchangeable. The fun part is... These two, and potentially these two, are all in the hunt for the point getter. So the algorithm knows what it's talking about. So those of you haters or doubters, uh uh-uh, this is correct. And somehow, in some way, I certainly didn't invite them. Um, So whoever invited them, this is on you. But we are looking at both Trendus holding the top two spots. Unheard of. Unprecedented. I'm glad they're here. Justin did not or was not able to overcome his pops. In which case, Justin is number two with Mr. Rick, Mr. King High C, being the top spot for this here power rankings Spring season, 2024. There's a charge, but you got to dethrone the champ. You got to dethrone the champ. And he was able to hold it for the last two seasons. Got hot playoff time. Boom. That's what it's all about. Gentlemen and lady, it's been a good season. Peace.